We're in. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. I honestly can't believe we're doing this. What, the band of bottles? <laughs> yes, the band of bottles, band which of is bottles. going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> All right. We're reviewing something a little bit different. Um, at the request of someone in a much younger age group, I bought some bottles from somewhere outside the country. The dark web. The dark web. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't. I, I, so this bottle, right, it has sort of a cult following. Turns out I didn't know that. Hmm. Um, because everyone over the age of 40 just thinks of it as really cheap whiskey that they haven't seen in a long time. Okay. Uh, but on secondary, it's like $300 a bottle. Really? Yes. Ooh. I paid $12.30 a bottle. I paid more for shipping than I did for the whiskey. Look at that. Uh, How does that work? It is, I think, by the loosest terms possible, <laughs> scotch. 80 proof. It is, in fact, the bottle that the one captain hunted down for the entire series in Band of Brothers. <laughs> it's VAT 69. VAT 69. It's got a pretty good nose on it. It's apple juice. It's, it's legit. It's, it's, got pretty, it's, pretty I mean, honestly, good. if you had to shoot whiskey, you could shoot this all day long. <laughs> um, it's apple juice. Wow, it really is, it is just apple juice. Does it taste like it's apple It's not juice? complex. It's apple juice. It's, it's apple juice. Does it taste like apple With juice? With... Just a little bit of single malt. It like can't a, be peated. Like a splash of single malt. It might be. I mean, it might be slightly peated. Does it say peated on the bottle by chance? I don't think it. I don't think they normally say peated unless it's not peated. And then it says oh. not peated. Oh, okay. Hey, you guys already tried this. It is distilled. You? Yeah, I opened it. Yes. Um, because I had to. Because I was so curious. Curious. I have two bottles know. for the girl that I ordered it for. Um, wow. There's a whole story behind it that I don't care about. So, so were you as disappointed as you thought you were going to be? I wasn't disappointed at all. Which uh, is it, honestly, I, I was really ready to knock this down. And then we tried it. And I was like, that's surprisingly good. For $12? Yeah. For what, what you think it is. And then you're like, oh, okay. That's not what I thought it was going to be at all. Because I was expecting it to just be like this terrible, young, like grainy cough syrup tasting booze and but, it's not that I mean bad. it obviously has no age on it it is it is I would say it's very young yes but the proof mm. isn't that high it's what like you said 80 80 80 proof hmm. so that puts it at what like 40 percent ABV yes yeah I, I I don't know that's the thing I yeah just no. divide it yeah. by two cut it by two okay didn't know that oh yeah now yeah, you do okay. look Learning things all the time. It, it's like scotch and apple juice had a baby. It, is, is it just fermented apple juice? Is that what's really going on here? It could be. It's is really it? just hard cider. <laughs> yeah. That's it. There it is. It's hard cider. Yeah, it has that little apple bite in there. Right? Yeah. yeah. But there's no proof note to it. No. No, it's not strong. It's not overpowering. It's just like alcoholic apple juice. I mean, it's not complex in the slightest. No wonder why they like the younger generation likes it so much. How would they? They've never had it. The apple juice. Fair, but they don't know that because they've never had it. You said like it I'm was pretty popular. sure. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the. Well, I think it's popular in theory. In theory, I don't think I've ever tried it. Uh, I had to go I, to. I had to find someone in Portugal to get it. Yeah, well, I, I've never heard of it before you got it. <laughs> Outside of Band of Brothers. Yeah. And you were like, "Oh, that's what they were looking for." It all makes sense now. <laughs> it's even in a 700 mil bottle. Like, it's European distribution. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I definitely have not seen that at the local liquor store. <laughs> no. I haven't seen it at my local one either. You could mix it with anything. Mm. You you really could. This this probably, because it would, it would just disappear. That yeah. Was like Scotch and Sprite, Scotch and ginger ale. Oh, yeah, yeah. Scotch and soda. <laughs> It would literally just taste like one of those apple seltzers. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. The, like the calorie-free apple seltzers. If you make this in soda water, it's all it would be. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> it's like a beach whiskey. Oh, there we go. It really is. Yeah, summertime. I don't even know how to score it. I really I, don't. I am... I'm struggling. Because I... This is so outside the realm of what we've been doing. I know. It's like, oh, 
you know, except for that gym cleaner we had. But hey, <laughs> this is much better than that. It is <laughs> much better. Uh, the finish doesn't stay that long. Remind either. me to rename that video. No, there's by the way. there's almost no finish. Yeah. But the thing is, there's nothing offensive about it either. It doesn't need a finish. Like, it all just sort of goes away. Like, the apple juice just sort of fades onto your tongue and it just, it's gone. Yeah, it, like, dissipates. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like those... You remember those Listerine mouth strips? They were, like, in a little packet, and you'd peel it off. It was like tissue paper. The little green ones, yeah. yeah I am going to give it a it disproportionately high impression. Really? Yeah, it's $12.30. Oh, that that is a good factor. Actually, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> so like that's, I was so ready to be disappointed. I I'm I'm with you on and that. And not one. because I wanted to. I just like I didn't know what to expect. I'm like, oh, it's a twelve dollar bottle of scotch. It's going to be terrible. Turns it, out it's actually fairly decent. Yeah, I mean, you could serve this to anybody, and they probably wouldn't bat an eye. They'd be like, oh, that's delicious. All right, hmm. that score is higher than I thought. <laughs> you guys ready? Do you want? Nope. Yep. Nope. Uh, nope. You know yep. what? Yeah, I'm. I'm. All right. I'm good. Here we yeah. go. I'm going first. All right. Nose, twenty three. Palate, twenty three. Finish had suffered a little bit. Thirteen. Not unpleasant, but short. Uh, impression. Seriously, an eighteen. I was so surprised by this. You're literally a point. Above me on everything. Yeah. For a 77. Wow. I have scored $150 bottles of bourbon less than that. You <laughs> you really have. That's... <laughs> wow. 77. Yeah, right? that's, that's impressive. <laughs> that, that really is legitimately impressive. Who's up next? Who do we Kevin, got? Kevin, you want me to go? Yeah. Uh, I scored an 80. A what? 80. 80? Yeah. I'm the French judge. Oh, uh, I went 25 on the nose. It's it's very pleasant. 20 on the palate. Uh, 15 on the finish, and 20 for the impression. So mm. 80. Nice. What what'd you score it? Frenchie over here and yeah. right wing. Yeah. Uh, I scored it a 73. All right. It's I mean, still in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, 22 for the nose. Okay. 22 for the palate. 12 for the finish, and 17 for the impression. Wow. Uh, it's going to score a... Shit, 73 and change. 74 okay. and change, sorry. For a $12 bottle. Yeah. That's and, very and, impressive. And it, it's better than a lot of whiskeys we've had before. <laughs> I would pick that over a lot of things. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Like, I really don't. I'm completely lost. And this is... I, the next whiskey we review, which we're going to do right after this, I will not score a 77. And it cost me a lot more than this. He's going to score it in the 50s if that. In <laughs> fact, it cost me 10 times, 11 times more than this. Uh, yeah. We got to include the shipping on that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nine, nine and a half times more if you include shipping and break it down. <laughs> <laughs> and I already know what's happening. Mm. Portugal. Yeah, I where, bought where, it from so Portugal. Where, where do they make it, though? Scotland. It's scotch. Oh, so it is scotch. Yeah, it's wow. distilled and bottled in Scotland. Wow. Who's the guy that you found that got this for you? No, it was randomly online. Oh. I was, like, there was a bunch of auction sites and secondary sites for, you know, two to $300. Right. And uh, I was just scrolling down. And there was one for, it was like $12.32 or something. I was like, oh, where's that at? And I clicked on it. I was like, oh, it's not in this country. And then I went through, and they had a U.S. shipping rate. I'm like, oh, they'll ship, to, they'll ship here. How much is it? And it was like $44. I'm like, done. Three bottles. Three bottles. For you. <laughs> <laughs> like, Send it. <laughs> yeah, send it. They lost money. Well, probably not because it was insured. But... UPS broke one of the bottles, so they had to send me another bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so realistically, it's even cheaper. Yeah. If we did the math, it's actually even cheaper. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're yeah, like, that's... wait, we have to send out a single bottle of this swill you... to the United States, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's hilarious. All right. Oh, we're the Daily Torch. Uh, that was our review of VAD69. 
if you made it this far and you are completely horrified by our scores. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>